Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another episode of our Let's Play The Sims 4 series starring the Eden Show family. Here we are with Jamie Eden at his diner called Dinerberg. It is early in the morning on Friday and in the last episode Jamie got some exciting news! Yeah, Jamie and Abigail. Abigail found out that she was pregnant. Yep! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still not sure how I feel about it. I mean, obviously it's going to be awesome and it's going to be really cute. But at the same time, like, Jamie is just struggling financially. Well, Jamie and Abigail are struggling financially. As you can see, they've only got 7,500 simoleons in the bank. And his business, this restaurant, is just barely making ends meet. Yeah, we've so. had a couple of successful days, but it had a long run of not successful days before then. So that's why Jamie is here, when I was going to say bright and early, but it's not exactly bright. He got here before dawn <laughs> while yeah. it's raining because you want to get the morning crowd with uh, all the breakfast rush and so on. A whole bunch of people turning up to the restaurant for breakfast. Yeah, Jamie has been through a number of hosts as well. Ooh! Ooh, it's Love Day! Ooh, that's exciting! It is very exciting. It's actually appropriate because... What? Hey, Jamie, it's me, Jamie. Do you want to go out on a date? No. I'm going to say no. No. No, because we got other stuff going on. It is love day, so appreciate the effort. <laughs> but not this year. I mean, Jamie is awesome, but he, he's got <laughs> yeah. stuff going on. <laughs> so, yeah, today is love day, 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Looks like there's a number of things we've got to do to have an awesome love day for these two. And, yeah, for Abigail and Jamie to have a love day together... While they're expecting a new little baby they're going to love, seems pretty cool. It does. And I wonder also if maybe Jamie should take the opportunity of it being Love Day to make some moves towards future security. So you said make some moves, and I was like, he's going to make a move on her. He's already got her pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. He kind of put the cart before the horse on that one. I mean, it, yeah. it was both of them. It takes two people to tango, obviously. And um, anyway. So yeah, so their security. Well, the boring side would be concentrate on the business of making profit. But I think you had something more romantic in mind. I do. I do. They are living together. They mm -hmm. love each other. Everything is well and good there. However, I'm thinking that Jamie's parents and Abigail's parents might want something a little more tangible hmm. between these two kids who are expecting a kid. Uh-huh. So I think this might be the, the day for Jamie to... Pop the big question. Pop the big question. About marriage. Put a ring on it. <laughs> yeah. All of that. Obviously, you don't have to get married if you're having a baby, but... You don't have to. But i just saying, I think that maybe... Jamie would like to, uh -huh. and maybe Abigail would like to, and maybe also their parents would like them to, yeah. <laughs> and maybe we would like them to. Because so. then we get to have another wedding, exactly. which is really cute in Sims 4, so that's fine. But wait, let's not jump too far ahead, because uh -huh. she actually has to say yes. I know, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're going to get through this morning rush, and then we are going to get on with the business of Love Day. I would hope that Jamie has some actual good stuff planned for Love Day because Abigail is the one working on incubating the baby <laughs> yeah. and Jamie now has to step up to the plate. So the first thing that he needs to do for Love Day is to be romantic in spirit, do romantic socials. He's going to need to give flowers. Okay. And he's going to need to go on a date. Uh -huh. And he's going to need to give gifts. So I think like giving flowers and giving gifts should be the same kind of thing. Yeah. And Neil Prophet shot up. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah, but he's dripping with wet because it's I guess raining it was still raining a yeah. little bit. And while his patrons are nicely under an awning, he is not. He is uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but well, it looks like Shelly, Clone Shelly, is that Shelly or Clone Shelly? This is Clone Shelly. Yeah, I thought it was Clone Shelly. She looks like she's helping out, which is nice. I mean, she sh it's her investment money that went into oh, this. Oh, yeah. Clone, yeah, yeah uh-huh. She loaned him money for all this. Yeah. And one day, she might get some of it back. <laughs> <laughs> But first, he's got family stuff to take care of. So we are just going to do a bit of restaurant managing, and then we're going to go into our love day with Abigail, mom-to-be. All right, it looks like we have hit 
500 in net profit for the day. So I am going to close out. Close out. <laughs> well, that, yeah. Consider that good. Mm -hmm. All right. It's like if you're up at a table in a casino, <laughs> don't just lose all your winnings. Get out while the going is good. That's the money that Jamie is going to use for Love Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go home. <laughs> Oh, Business Bye. Funds has got 13,000. They're doing well. Exactly. Yeah. Because we got our 500 in profit today. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Should we be telling Bon anything? I'm thinking not yet. Ooh. No, I'm thinking I because... Was... What? What, what? I was going to say, look, they're twins. Mm -hmm. She's going to know something's up anyway. Obviously, they're not identical. But he would just say something to her like, hey... I mean, oh, Abigail are going out for the day. Um, everybody would know something is... Well, I mean, she is showing. What the heck? I thought she was only no. just found out. She was showing last week. Only a day has passed, literally. <laughs> Jamie, you better get a move on, dude. Okay, hold on. He, uh, really, you got to get a move on because everybody's going to know. And he still hasn't told his parents. And she hasn't told her parents. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the computer and purchase gifts over here. And do we have flowers? Got to be flowers somewhere in this crazy list. Do we have a rose? A rose? 144. Wow, man. <laughs> is there anything cheaper? I mean, it's love There's day. There's a tulip. And How what much do you was mean, the tulip? What do you mean cheaper? How much was the tulip? What do you mean cheaper, 72. though? 72. But this is his baby mama. So, in fact, we are going to get both the rose and the tulip because you wanted to cheap out. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, okay, come on. Gosh. She is making... That is some expensive flower. Oh, baby, give, give a love day. day gift. Okay, well... Oh, he already had flower. <laughs> <laughs> I think he hasn't finished buying it yet. Has he not? Okay, I can never really tell with these holiday things what goes on, but let's just assume that... This is this is gonna happen, and it's gonna it's gonna be good. Yeah, she is just hang. She knows something up, Bon. That's why she's hanging around outside. <laughs> it's like, uh huh. They're gonna come out, and I'm gonna see what's going on. Because Jamie had a weird look in his eyes. He just like walked past me, snuck past me, more like. Like overnight, Abigail grew a baby belly. <laughs> oh well, that counts as a gift, and as giving flowers. Yeah, as I said, it would. Now, of course, Abigail has to give him him some stuff as well. Oh right, right, right. Okay. Well, hopefully she's got something in her... Yeah, she's got a rose. Oh, wait, Sweet. it's the rose that he gave her. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Cheap. You know, shared Cheaped finances and that kind of stuff. Oh, no, he, he put it... Oh, no. Oh, he knows. Does he know? That... Well, she'll give him a, give another oh, gift. No. Oh, no, don't fight, guys. <laughs> They're not What's fighting. What's going on? Wait, hold, hold on. I don't know what's happening. We're, we're getting, like... Stuff from from Bon over here, but and we're now in a friends hangout. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's okay. Weird. Well, we don't want to be in the friend zone because <laughs> that's not that's not how today's gonna go. No, that is not how today's gonna go. In fact, we need to go on a date. Mm -hmm. And then we'll sort out the gift giving later. Ask her on a date. That's what we gotta do. Ooh, look at all the things, Bon. <laughs> no, I'm this is just not the here time. spying on you guys. You go right ahead. <laughs> Wait, we can't ask on a date. Oh, you can't find a date in the middle of another social event. So we gotta cancel out the friends hangout. Yes, got it. All right, and then we go and okay, yeah, Bond. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Here, I saw a cute in action for Ooh. ask to feel baby. Oh, she's so cute That's with that belly yes. bump. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Aww. That was adorable. Okay, so now... Oh, see? Look. Wow, not yet. It's a little too early. Yeah. yeah. But he's so thinking about it. He's let, thinking about let's it. Let's go on a date. Set the mood. Mm-hmm. We want this to be good. Not giving a rose and then giving the rose back. <laughs> all righty, here we are at Villa Bovine. Look, it's all decorated for Love Day. This is super adorable. Cute. Okay, well... And here is our happy couple, all dressed up. I'm really pleased that Abigail's clothes stretch to be maternity wear. Definitely. And <laughs> it's perfect time for lunch, just coming up to one o'clock. Oh no, oh no. She looked like she was feeling a little sick to her stomach. A little, a little lovesick. <laughs> nice. 
Let's go inside and request a table. Abigail, I'm not sure that having a drink at the bar is really the best thing to do in your current condition. But I guess she's celebrating with the bartender. Wow, she's already done almost all her socializing. Her and Jamie already. <laughs> 8 out of 10, they're doing well. Yeah, well, they get along like a house on fire. So we got our one last socializing done. And I guess we socialize about the meal. Oh, they are so lovey-dovey. Mm -hmm. I love it. They've always been very cute together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's early days of the pregnancy. Like, they're, I think they're still in that loved-up mood. I think later they'll have to start... Ooh, ooh, did you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking later they would have to start thinking about the practicalities of raising a child. Where are they going to raise the child? What I kind of decisions know. are they going to make in terms of parenting? We know that Bon and Jamie grew up in the city for at least until they were mm -hmm. little kids. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. At all? Yeah. No. They and turned out well. Mm -hmm. Certainly for the first couple of years, while the kid's a baby or even a toddler, I think, where they're living now would just about work. <laughs> uh, <aw>. <laughs> He's wearing his sexy underpants. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where's our waiter, by the way? I feel like this restaurant has problems with trash quite frequently. Like, I've seen that trash can overflowing before. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is a little bit wrong. All right. No one's coming to sort out their table despite us asking to get food. Look, guys, I'm going to help you out. <laughs> um... What an atmosphere you guys are creating. This is terrible. It's like walking through the trash on the floor, leaving the trash right by your only guests who are sitting down. Right? There's trash everywhere. These guys haven't ordered their food yet. They've tried a couple of times. We should have gone to Shea Lama, man. <laughs> higher rating of stars. Oh, boy. Okay, is anybody going to take our order? Let's try and... Oh. Let's try and flag down a waiter again and see if we can... Order for the table one more time. Okay, here uh. we go. We can order for the table finally. All right. Because one of us is having a baby, we are both going to have water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or juice. Maybe juice could be good. Yep. And then for our starter... Butternut squash, soup, and for Abigail, prosciutto wrapped asparagus. And then we'll get to the main course once they deliver the food. Yeah, I'm not convinced we're going to have time to get to the main course as well <laughs> during this day. So I think you did well. Let's concentrate on getting some food out at least. We need to have deep conversation. I think that's appropriate because they're yeah. parents-to-be, so it's time to have those conversations. Yeah, I think they're both thinking a lot about their future. Clearly, Jamie today is thinking about popping the big question, mm -hmm. but Abigail's thinking about you know, where should they live. Yep. She obviously was talking before about marriage a little bit too. Yep. As long as they're on the same page. Yeah. Like, I'm of two minds about the whole propose to somebody out of the blue, make it a big public romantic thing. Yeah. I tend to think I'm of the kind of school of thought that a proposal should be discussed beforehand between the two so that it's not a surprise, just to make sure everybody's on the same page about love and marriage and what you expect from your lives. Yeah. Asking somebody to marry you and you don't know what they're going to say. I know. That's kind just, of crazy. What's that say about your relationship? And obviously it can work a bunch of times, but for me it would just be... Clearly, we didn't know each other well enough. Right. For the sort of person I am, at least. Mm. Well, that was certainly a deep conversation that they had, talking about all this stuff. Yeah. Ooh, here's our order. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, I love that Abigail singing. <laughs> okay, so how do we socialize about the meal? Complain about dish preparation. Could do, yeah. Just any talking about the food. They've got yeah. not much time. Can we extend the date at all if we click on the little timer at the top? Oh, that's... Ooh, nope, nope, we can't. We can't. Oh dear, we're only gonna get a silver for this date. Oh no. I mean, I blame the restaurants. Yeah. They were terrible. Not every day can go perfectly. This is true, but still. Yeah. Gosh. Discuss flavor profile. Yeah, those kinds of things. Yeah. 
Okay, well, so we have an achievement. We got so, a bronze. Yeah. Oh, we got a silver and we have a bronze oh, cool. for doing like 50 social events. Or something oh, like I, that. See, yeah. I see. And our love day is achieved. Well, let's switch to Abigail and see how she's doing for her love day. Yep, same. Basically, they just both have to same, do same. romantic kind of stuff. So be enticing and yeah. all that stuff. Those. Oh, no. She's very uncomfortable. She's well, got to use the potty. That yeah. makes sense. She's preggers. Okay, so we'll um, end the meal whenever they're done and send Abigail to the potty and then maybe take a stroll around Windenburg and get this question popping. I'm kind of nervous for Jamie. Yeah, I think, well, Jamie's got to take the lead here. He's got to say, hey, let's go for a walk. Maybe he has somewhere in mind. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I have somewhere in mind giving away Windenburg for him. Okay. Because I think it was in Windenburg where they first met. This is true. They met at that playground when he was taking Olivia to play. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, that could be fun. Yeah. Playground, oh. talking about kids. and Who watching... knew you were so sentimental? <laughs> and who knew I could remember all the way back to season one? <laughs> okay, Jamie, while Abigail is gone, I think you should take it upon yourself to end the meal and pay your bill. 49 simoleons for two appetizers and juice. Wow. Cheaper than a tulip. <laughs> true, actually. True. Cost effective. <laughs> and the memories of all the trash. Okay, so let's get everybody pottied up and go to the next stage of this date. <laughs> I love that Abigail's thinking about baby bottle there. It's adorable. Why is she popping so far out? Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, like, I thought... <sighs> I thought pregnancy lasted a good few days in Sims World. I thought so too. We really don't have much time to tell the parents. <laughs> <laughs> we have plans for like a baby shower. Or I know. I don't think that's going to work out. It might do. We'll see. Can we just hit the pause button on the pregnancy? I don't know if we can. No. Oh yeah, it was literally right here. Oh, this is adorable. Right by the climbing frame thing. Yeah, this this right here, and then. Yeah. Oh, we've got a lovely Ooh, sunset. Perfect. Jamie, this is perfect. Okay. Jamie, get it done But the, the problem is, if we, I was thinking, let's have them walk to the water. But by the time by the they time get, get there, there yeah, yeah, I think we've just got to do it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's romance her up just a little bit first. <sighs> I'm going to give you one romance action before we, before we go for it. Okay. So we get in. Like, I like that we're here where they first met. I think it was a great idea. I could just picture Jamie saying to her, years ago, this is where I first laid eyes on you. Yeah. Took a chance. <laughs> took a chance. Yeah. We hit it off. There was chemistry from the start. Had no idea we'd be together all throughout university, throughout the end of high school. But here we are. And now we're going to share a baby together too. Why don't we also share the rest of our lives together? Abigail. Will you marry me? Wow, that was good. That was perfect. <laughs> okay, this is the big one. Here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so nervous. Getting close. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Look! <gasps> when did he get that ring? I, that's my question. Oh, okay. this is adorable. That's a, they're going to well, get married. That's a yes. Okay, well, they're, that's they're a like yes. Sims all up in their grill. Come on, guys. Get well, out of the way. Jamie, it was a little bit public. Abigail. <laughs> it was like, when you gave me that flower before, were you thinking later when you could give me a ring as well? <laughs> I thought that was the only gift I was getting today. Oh, so cute. Aww. Oh, they're so happy with themselves. <laughs> but I like it a happy in the excited way, but also a little bit chilled. Just yeah. like a nice embrace rather than going crazy and running around. Yep, and still thinking about future plans. I don't yeah. know who all these people are. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, take out. I didn't know she could play. I know he could play. They're very musical. <laughs> they're basically serenading themselves. <laughs> well, they're just spreading the love to everyone else in the park. <laughs> How cute! Everyone's would... joining in, little kid blowing his little horn. I would say that this is a very very good love day mm -hmm. good outcome all right so what do we need to do next 
Well, we gotta tell some Pete's before this baby just pops out of his or her own accord. <laughs> okay. And there's double news now. There's like, yes. gonna have a baby, we're gonna get married, it's gonna be lovely. So the thing that we need to do now, I think, is tell some parents. So we're gonna travel with Abigail, and I think we're gonna tell her parents first. Yeah, I think we should tell the mother's parents first. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we have never met Abigail's parents, but I have created her parents. And they live over here, the Belchers. And oh, cute. That's a nice house. Yeah, it's kind of by the water in Willow Creek. Maybe we'll be able to see some of that, even though it's nighttime now. But I think it's cute. Right after they got engaged, they want to go and immediately tell the fam. Yeah, yeah. We waited a while. <laughs> oh, and her family have decorated their house for Aww. Love Day as well. Well, maybe have they've kids. been celebrating Love Day, the two of them together as well. Okay, so here are Abigail's parents. Cool. Hi, this, guys. This is Sarah Belcher. Hi. And Abigail's dad whoop, is over here, Frederick Belcher. Nice. Frederick Belcher is an animal lover. Okay. And Sarah Belcher is a very cheerful, dancey comedian. Okay. And yeah. both those things combine to make Abigail. Now, it's our first time meeting her parents. I'm going to say it's not Jamie's first time meeting them. No, they know each other. Yeah. Let's see. They could still get to know, but, oh, he should share the Love Day spirit. Yes. And with her dad, he should <laughs> sing about Love Day. I mean, they have a family that likes to sing. I think it's going to work fine. I think also, so. Also, Jamie's on a high. Like. <laughs> Oh, so cute to see Abigail's parents being romantic with each other. That's mm -hmm. lovely. Now, I don't think you really need to tell them about Abigail's pregnancy because... Although she has turned the wrong way around, so maybe they can't quite see her bump. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now okay. it's obvious. Now we can share the big news. Oh, shaking his hand, wishing him congratulations. That's sweet. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, Jamie's singing. <laughs> Wait, did, did sharing the big news technically happen? That's nice yeah, that, I think that... the big news, everyone's happy, everyone's clapped, shaking hands, hugged each other. Oh, there we go. That's sharing the big news. Yeah. Well, now they're sharing the news about the marriage. And everything. Let's just say the big news, <laughs> yeah. it's all one big news. Oh, okay. So he looks happy about it. He does. And Abigail's mom was clapping for Jamie's singing. Yeah. So with mom, do we have a separate share the big news? Yes, we yes. do. You can invite to feel baby. Yes, that's lovely. Cool. Invite to feel baby. <gasps> Do you see her trembling oh, lower no. lip? <laughs> that lip stuck out so far. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, happy girls. Very happy about it. It's gone well. <laughs> I think that her parents look like lovely people. Mm -hmm. Oh, look! I think it's the, the jacket be. with uh, patches on the elbows yeah. that helps. And I, I think the glasses as yeah. well and the yeah, lovely earrings. Yeah. You can see where Abigail gets her fashion sense from. Mm -hmm. Oh, Aww. gosh. Ooh. Oh, so cute. I mean, Abigail looks big. Yeah. <laughs> this might be second trimester still, though, so we might like still have some of... time. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's it's just like one belly bump. Um, it's each a pretty trim. big. Yeah. You uh, think? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh yay! It looks like Dad's happy for them. I think he is. Yay! The whole family's happy. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Still singing. Why not? It's another singing opportunity away. to sing. <laughs> Everybody's singing. I love it. <laughs> Did we, do you remember when you tried to have people singing? Was it at the, the Eden Chose holiday? And yeah. it did not go well. Yeah. Should have invited the Belchers. Exactly. All that singing would have happened naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I think that they're discussing potential future plans. Maybe mm -hmm. her parents are like, why don't you move to Willow Creek? Willow Creek is lovely. Tons of stuff for the baby. Uh, Abigail's oh. dad's like showing you how it's done. Yeah. Showing you how the romance is done. <laughs> I mean, I would love for them to move to Willow Creek, but they need more money. So they do, yeah. They might be in their apartment for a little while. Yeah. That's okay. It's totally okay. As we said, there's said, enough space. Yep. There's advantages of renting. They don't have to fix everything when it breaks. They just call in the super to sort it out for them. Yeah. 
and they have enough to worry about with the baby as well. So do we have, oh jeez, <laughs> going to say do we have enough time to go and chat with Eden Chose? Um, I think not because it's midnight Saturday, but let's say yeah. we're going to go tell them first thing tomorrow morning, Okay, which means in the next episode. <laughs> so you guys will get to wait until the next episode to see the big reaction from the full Eden Cho clan. Yeah, all of them. There's also Clone Shelly as well, remember? Yes, so it's true. I'm trying to count them in my head and I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, let's just Nine make if you sure... include Shredder. Well, it is almost two in the morning, so we can close out Love Day, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Abigail is pretty good at taking charge of the romance. Yes. It's not that difficult to do when you've got your soulmate and fiancé. But yeah, they are super cute and woo, <laughs> go both of you. But congratulations to the happy couple. Not only on the baby-to-be, but also on the marriage-to-be. <laughs> it's definitely been a big season for both of them, with a business, moving to the city, now a baby and now marriage. Pretty cool. Mm. Ooh, plan a wedding event. Ooh, we'll have oh, to do no, that yeah, next I'm time, I think. That. But I think that's kind of cool that we can now do that with seasons. I think that must be a seasons-added feature, planning a wedding event for the calendar. That'll be awesome. I can see Maya being very interested in helping plan the event. I mean, Clone, Grandma Shelley. Yeah, Shelley as well. She's going to be a great grandma. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she still looks as young as a spring chicken. I mean, mm -hmm. and she's going to be a great grandma. So I think telling the parents went well. I think it went well. I'm not surprised they were happy. Mm -hmm. Jamie's a good dude and they can see that. Yeah, and they've probably been thinking at some point these two are going to get married, surely. Because they get on so well together. They've been together for so long. They live together. They've got business kind of together. Obviously, Abigail's helping out a little bit yeah. with Jamie's restaurant. So their lives are pretty much intertwined. And as you said before, they're clearly soulmates. <laughs> All right, so time to head home. We haven't gotten a load of Abigail's pregnancy waddle. I think that's really cute. <laughs> Love Day successful. Love Day was awesome. They both had a great time. Jamie had a wonderful time and got to do everything he planned to do, which is well, good. Well, yeah. Because he planned big things. It's going to be the most he ever plans for Love Day, I hope. <laughs> All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A lot happened and a lot is still going to happen. So please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims 4 on the way. Thanks for watching.